What's up guys, Dark Dally here, playing Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 today. Now, I know there's one thing that you all are sick of in this game. You know, well, okay, there's probably a lot of things a lot of people are sick of, but one thing that really does kind of suck is when your silencer wears out, and some weapons burn through it really quick. Some burn through it quicker than others. The assault rifle I'm using burns through it in about one magazine, but hey, you know, it's an assault rifle. My current sniper that I was using before this would rip through it in damn near a 10-round magazine as well. And uh, I was really going through my silencer repair tools. And so here's a way to fix that. This video shows a great alternative rifle you could use, which because it has an integral suppressor, it never wears out. Um, it's this rifle right here. Let me just go ahead and show you in the weapon cache which one it is. And I'm gonna show you how to get it too. I'm gonna show you where it's at. You can get it fairly early on in the game. It's this weapon right here, the Brezatelia. Now in real life, this is a real Russian sniper rifle in real life. It's modeled after the VSS Venterez. I, I mean, excuse my rough pronunciation, but uh, it's actually a real Russian sniper rifle. It's used by Spetsnaz Special Forces, and it's really cool and compact. That's obviously the rifle this is modeled after. It's really small, has an integrated suppressor. Although in real life, it doesn't fire 7.62 in real life. It fires 9x19 millimeter rounds. But in this game here, it does fire 7.62. Now, there's a lot of things I want to go over with this rifle, including where to get it. First, I want to show you some of the cool things about it. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. The first most noticeable thing is, let's go to my little, uh, looks like there's kind of like a little firing range right here. One cool thing is that you can fire it and the suppressor will never wear down because it's integrated. So if the suppressor were to break, then, right, it's, it's built into the rifle. So you don't ever have to worry about running out of suppressor with this rifle. This rifle has a couple other cool points too, in that one, it's semi-automatic. So it has a much faster fire rate than many of the other rifles in this game. Now, it comes with drawbacks, it comes with bonus, it comes with ups and downs, guys. Let me show you some of this sniper rifle to help you decide if you don't have it already, if you may want to get it, and then I will I will give you the walkthrough of exactly where to go. So it's 762. Now, let's go ahead and compare it to some damage and some other rifles I have unlocked. Now, I'm not terribly far in the game. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle of Act 2, I'm, or near the beginning of Act 2. I'm not real far. But I have enough rifles to see a vast difference. Here we have a 338 rifle, and this is the rifle I was using until I unlocked the Brezatelia. Now, this does more damage. And that's one drawback with this little guy here. It's only 7.62. You compare it to this, which is 338, and there's going to be more better rifles all the way down the list and 50 cal and everything else. But one thing that 762 rifles have that you can't do with 338 ammo, at least not that I've seen, is let's go ahead to the to the bullets. You can run armor piercing bullets with it, and look at the difference in the damage down there in the bottom right hand corner. That puts it that puts it up there pretty. That's some pretty decent damage, at least for the point where I'm at in the game. That's some pretty decent damage. It's far more damage than my 338 rifles do and they do not have an armor piercing option. So if the damage is too low for you, do take that into consideration. Now, one thing that this rifle does have as a drawback, actually kind of has two drawbacks. Now, one of those drawbacks is, well, quite frankly, aesthetics. It doesn't really have that big, huge look. And sometimes I, I feel like I'm not taking this rifle seriously enough. I know it sounds silly, but it's aesthetics. It doesn't have the size and the presence that a normal sniper rifle has, and maybe you don't have the same feel of a sniper with a little toy in your hands. I mean, maybe that's a drawback, maybe it's not. One drawback, however, which actually it does have is there's no space for a bipod because the rifle is so compact, you cannot mount a bipod on it. Now, that could be a decent drawback, depends on your play style. So guys, that's a, a, a decent little intro to the Brezatelia, aka the... Uh, VSS Venterez, um, and I can urge you to go ahead and look that up online. It's a really cool little sniper rifle. All you got to do is go to Google, type in Spetsnaz Sniper, and it'll pop up because it's it's their like their signature rifle because it's a it's a small compact sniper rifle which fires basically SMG rounds. It's a really really cool little gun. Now I'm going to show you where to get it and how to get it because there's kind of a trick to it, uh, slightly. Let's go ahead and do that now. Let's pull up the map. Okay, so. It's on the first map. Now, to get it, you're gonna need the hacking module on your drone, which, if I recall, you pretty much unlock right when you enter Act 2. Like, when you go to this area up here, pretty much, I think it's like the, after you finish the first mission up here, it will unlock the hacking module 
for your drone and you will need that because now you may know some of these question marks they have different things at them some of them are just little uh little hidden boxes with camo in them some of them have guys and and you know some random item some of them have hostage situations and some of them are drone challenges this one's a drone challenge and i'm going to show you how to do it now it's located right here this is where it's at on the map let me zoom out now i've already gotten it so it's not on my map but this is where it's at all right want to look for uh there's they got this base here off to the west and this little road this little side road comes out and dead ends at this like um i don't know if it's a mine or what it is but we're gonna go out there and we're gonna see and you'll see what i'm talking about so let's fast travel out there real quick now as far as the drone challenge this is the only one of them i've actually completed some of them are kind of tricky and just downright annoying but you can rest assured you're gonna get something really cool at the end and I was so glad I got this sniper rifle because when I started this game, this was the rifle I had my eye on. This is the rifle I wanted in Wildlands, in Ghost Recon Wildlands. A lot of you know that I love that game. And this is the rifle I wanted in that game that simply wasn't there. And I was really disappointed because I wanted it. When I started playing this game and I saw this rifle was available, it was just... It was a godsend. It was like, oh my god, this is so incredible. I wanted this sniper rifle. So here we are. There's no guys here. There is another question mark icon, and it's right down there. It's about uh, 200 yards in the forest, and it does have some guys at it. And there, you know, there's some little collectibles. Not collectibles. There's some boxes with some resources in it. Nothing important down there, but there are some guys there. But there are no guys here. So when you approach this place, this is what you're going to see. You see this elevator that goes down into nowhere. And when you approach, you will get a prompt on your screen saying, hey, this is a drone challenge. So let me show you exactly how this works. You're going to have to have the hacking module because what you have to do is you have to fly your drone down here and you have to turn on the elevator so that you can go down. It's pretty simple, really, except for this part here can be frustrating. I'm going to do my best to show you exactly where you go and what you hack with your drone. So we're going to fly down here. Now, this is where it can get a little tricky. You want to fly through here. Through this area just come down here you turn right you fly through this little window here try not to bump into anything wow that was my best one yet the first time i came down here i tried to click this it told me i needed a hacking module so then i got the hacking module i came back to do it and boy so here it is right here you want to fly up to this little circuit breaker box looking thing and when you do, it'll give you a prompt on your screen to, if you're, well, I'm on PS4, so it'll give me a prompt to hold square, and it'll say use. It'll say, it'll have the square button icon, it'll say use. And what that'll do is, that will flick on that circuit breaker so that you can ride this elevator down. Let's go ahead and call the elevator. Good, it's still working for me. That's awesome. And this is a really cool rifle, guys. It does have some drawbacks. Like I said, maybe some people don't like how small it is. Maybe they feel it's underpowered because of that. But don't forget, you can get armor-piercing rounds for this thing. And uh, that's pretty cool. Now, I do like my... Uh, what, what rifle was it? That 338 I was showing? Was it called the BMT-03 or something? BMT. What does it sound like? A sandwich from... Oh, it is a sandwich from Subway. <laughs> that was my previous rifle before this. And I... Uh, Ah, I like it. It's powerful, and uh, plus it had a 24x scope on it. Of course, there is, I, I believe, there's a 36x scope available for this. I just don't have it yet, you know. This uses the Russian scopes as opposed to my BMT. I think that's what it was called. Yeah, that's what it was called. It uses the NATO scopes. So once you come down here, there's a little box here with, oh, look, I can loot it. Sweet, even though I already did. Awesome. More explosive parts. And the box that this rifle is in is right here. So sweet. So sweet. Uh, so be sure to tell me what you think, guys. I think this little rifle is pretty cool, and you can get it fairly early on in the game. So I hope you like it, and let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, if you like the video, hit that like button, guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for, you know, daily content that I'm always uploading. And feel free to engage with me anytime. Guys, it's been really fun. My name is Dark Dally, and I will catch you all next time.